Hello, thanks for watching the Edwin Advisor Show where I'm here to answer your most pressing money questions. Well, I've got a question this week about, or today, uh, regarding where I think, or my predictions for the second half of 2015, where do I think the market is going? Um, well, one thing that I don't do is you know, predict where the market is going. I don't think anybody really can do that. There's no system, there's no big executives, uh, analyst people, and any of the big brokerage companies who can predict where the market is going. What we can do is let's take a look at what's happening in the world, what's happening in our economy, what has happened in the past, and we'll kind of put forth or I'll give you my best guess as to where the market's going um, in the second half of this year, 2015. So let's look at what's happening around the world. So the big news today and over the last several days has been Greece. So we know Greece is out of money. They've basically spent all of the money that the Euro unions have given them to bail them out uh, from just a couple years ago. And they continue to spend money. They've got no more money left. They had a big vote uh, from the people in Greece and they landslide no vote, which the Euro union is not very happy about. Um, so I will tell you this, Greece has not seen their worst days. Uh, unemployment will continue to get worse in Greece. Um, so I really feel bad for the Greek people. Um, so this will, in the short term, hopefully not in the long term, really disrupt the markets. So that's short term. What's happening here at home? here in the US. Well, economic growth over the last so many years has been very slow um, to slow at best. Um, so that will continue. Hopefully at least growth will continue. Um, we just got a report this week that the unemployment rate is at 5.3%, uh, which to be quite honest with you, I don't buy that number. Again, the government kind of uh, has certain formulas to make the number look better. And here's why I say that. You know, let's look at where you know unemployment was a couple years ago. And when I say unemployment, I'm not giving you the made up federal rate, but let's look at how many people were working, how many people were not working. So back in the year 2000, so 15 years ago, there were actually fewer Americans in this country than there are today, but there were 153 million people working, right? Fast forward 15 years, it's 2015. There are over 330 or 320 million-ish people in the United States. We have 148 million people working. So again, 153, 153 million back in 2000, 148 million working today. Numbers don't add, add up, Uncle Sam. Um, people not working. So back in 2000, the year 2000, number of, uh, of workers uh, not in the workforce or people of age not in the workforce in the year 2000 there were 78 million people not in the workforce in the year 2000 today there are 93 million people not in the workforce who can work so that tells me that that 5.3 number unemployment is garbage uh, there are far fewer people working today than there were 15 years ago, that's a big problem. Earnings season starts this week and analysts, so the pros, are predicting a 3% year-over-year decline in operating um, income, e operating expenses. So, um, well that's good, but you know, we think that income is gonna slow down as well, or they think that way. That way. Next big thing in the news, which I forgot when we were touching on international, is Iran. So there's a big pressure for the U.S. and Iran to work out some sort of deal uh, with you know, the nuclear capabilities of Iran. The plans that are on the table, I think, are very, very bad for this country, not only this country, but the entire world. Um, so that, I think, is going to disrupt the markets in the short term as well, and again, hopefully not the long term. But I think it looks like the U.S. government is really trying to work out a deal at our expense and even at the world's expense. So it's a really bad deal that's going on in Iran. I won't touch on that too much. But again, short term and possibly long term market implications. So again, let's look at back at some history here in the U.S. The Dow Jones right what that kind of number that we see up go up and down every day every day on the news or on our computers if we watch it so back in 2009 so just six years ago the dow jones was at about 6600 points today uh, in July, it just closed today, July 7th or 8th, I don't even know what day it is, but in July 2015, it closed at 17,550. So we went from 6,600 
to seven, over 17,000 points on the Dow. That is a huge increase. We've seen six consecutive years of up in up market, um, which is abnormal. You don't normally get so many up years. I mean, it has happened before, but it's very, very rare. You usually get a few good years and a down year, a couple more good years, another down year, and that's kind of the normal trend of the market. So when we look at what's happening in the world, what's happening within our own economy, um, why is that number so, why did it increase almost triple um, over the last six years? I don't know. It really doesn't make sense to me, to be quite honest with you. One, you know, one thing is, yeah, companies will find a way to make money uh, regardless of what the government is doing. Um, so that's, you know, that's great. But are we due for a downturn? Possibly. So just a couple weeks ago, the Dow was at 18,200. Again, today at 17.5. So it's already started to come, or we're see, we saw a little bit of decline over the last couple weeks here, uh, which is, you know, which is troubling. 18,200 was about an all-time high uh, in the Dow Jones. And then the next thing that concerns me is let's look at the U.S. debt. Again, I just talked about that on my last video. Again, today we're at 18 and a quarter trillion dollars of debt in the United States. Uh, back in 2000, we were at about five and a quarter trillion. So again, 15 years ago, we were at five and a quarter trillion dollars in debt. Today, we're at 18 and a quarter trillion dollars in debt. Now, that is a substantial increase. You know, if we have less people working, that mean, means we have less people paying taxes to pay down that debt. So, going back to the original question, you know, so looking at where we were, where we are, what's going on in the world, um, you know, it really doesn't look too good. Again, again, the market's do, been doing very, very well over the last several years. I don't know if the next six months is going to continue to go down or continue to go up. I have no idea, to be quite honest with you. But I would rather play it safe. I am putting my money somewhere that it can continue to grow. Um, however, I want to be safe with my money. I'm not gambling in the stock market casino. Um, I'm not picking individual stocks. I'm not buying mutual funds. I'm not buying stocks. I'm putting my money where it's going to be safe, where if something happens in the market, I'm not going to get hurt and have to wait several years for my money to recuperate or recover. Um, I am only investing in safe investments and I probably, you know, if you came to see me, I'd recommend the same for you. Well, I hope this helped you. Ask your questions down below or tweet them to Edwin Advisor, a hashtag Edwin Advisor. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, at Edwin Advisor. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please ask questions and I look forward to talking to you soon.